That's yeah, that's perfect. I thought it brought us up, but switch it up. Switch it up, then yeah, sure. Does anybody hoop to above the rim by <laughs> Bell Biv DeVoe? <laughs> nah. But he, he loved basketball, though, so it's all good. <laughs> hey, Mike, there was a whole era of just, like, people sitting on the rim. Yeah. How do you even get up there? You, you could pull up on the net, too. And then if you got a friend, I was small. I've, so I've seen you do that. Yeah, I could jump and kind of pull I've up the net and grab the rim. And, but you got to have air work, too, though. What, you think Spike was doing that? Nah, Spike. Nah, Spike had a ladder. When Spike got up there, he had a ladder. I don't know. I when I watch when I watch uh uh she's gotta have it and I see Spike on a bike, I'm like, all right, Spike might have been athletic he, in eighty four. He he was. He's small. I represent for the small folk. I can mm-hmm, say he can, he mm-hmm. had he has he had that ability in there, but uh, also he a New Yorker, so he might have been doing pull ups just, mm-hmm. you know, randomly. He loved the game though. Stuff. He had all yeah, the games. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I ain't gonna knock my boy because he's small. I ain't gonna do right, that. Right, right, right. He probably could, but nah. So you sat on the rim before? Yeah. That's crazy. I would be so scared. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, I'm afraid of heights, so I think that's why I don't jump a lot no more. But yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a long way down, so. Okay. It is. So, <laughs> Lil D, The Mosquito, Andre Bray, famous in the in the basketball world. Some I you know, when I brag about like when people ask me about basketball in Atlanta, I show them your highlights. That's love, bro. I'm like, oh yeah, no, we had some people that were nice and then I talk about you, I talk about y'all winning state. Yeah, back to back. Back to back. Yeah. Yeah. Should be retiring my jersey this year. They're gonna finally do it. It's been twenty years, so Whoa, they're gonna retire your jersey? Yeah, officially. Yeah. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, so we're supposed to be doing that. Um, Desmond coaching now. Desmond okay. Coaching now. All right. Yo, shout out to Desmond. Yeah, man. So um, I remember when I, when I got the maze, uh, I was a freshman. You had just got the maze because you were the Harper Archer. I went to Harper, Harper first. And then they, they broke up. Yeah. So I was in eighth grade, and I played JV for Harper. Okay. Because uh, my birthday was in October, so you can't, you know, before, you know, APS, they don't let you go to school before a certain time. Like yeah. August or whatever. So I had to, I couldn't play middle school no more. So I played JV really? for Harper. Really? Yeah. So I played JV for Harper. In eighth grade? In eighth grade. Started. That's shoot. crazy. Yeah, average double-double almost, you know what I mean? So that's why they wanted me to stay there because Harper was closing. So they said, if you stay here, get used to high school, play your ninth grade year here, and you can go to any school you want to after that if you want to. So they were close. Oh, so that's why I went on and stayed there. Oh, so you knew you knew Harper was gonna close. Yeah, I knew that was gonna close. So I kind of made a decision already just to stay there to get used to high school and get you know what I mean. That's crazy. Yeah, so I used that to get better in a sense, like to, to play like how I want us, cause like I could shoot over there in a sense, but you know, Cole Matt didn't play that game. <laughs> right, but I I remember when I got the maze seeing you with the like. Shooting shoe, well, not the shooting, sh- the jump shoot, soles. The jump yeah, soles. Yeah, I used to see. I used to walk around with jump soles on. Wearing yeah, them to I mean, class, and them I class, would, bro. I would see them in East Bay. I wouldn't believe in them, and I'd be like, "Man, nobody." And see, then I think I be see some people think I'm lying when I say I used to walk around weight vests, jump soles, all type. Of all stuff. that, and it was like, like if Ball is life was a person. Like if if somebody like dedicated, it was it, you know man. what I'm saying? Like everybody, I like like I feel like you people knew you in church leagues, AAU, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Basketball. Around. Like when I talk to people about about ball, like they're like, oh yeah, I know little D. Mm, like appreciate yeah. it. I'm playing in Elizabeth. I'm playing in all type of church leagues, AAU. Played for the Celtics, so I've been around. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, the Atlanta Celtics. Yep. But Maze was dope, man. Like you said, I walk around jump souls, man, getting better. Yeah. So, um, I mean, like, when when did you know like like you were it was basketball? Like how like how early? Cause but I'm trying out for J V in <laughs> sophomore year. I still didn't get like, hey, it's it's, it's bruh, not for me. Bruh, to be honest, it's crazy for me, like, I guess I was three years old when I first picked up a basketball. 
Okay. And I, and I ain't put it down since. It's like it was Christmas and I saw presents and the only thing I went to was the basketball. Yeah. And that's the only thing I played with. And since then I haven't been like I ain't double dribble since then in a sense. That's crazy. Yep. So, but like I said, I always had people look at my height, so I had to work at the end of the day. Yeah. Because even at Mays, I still went to the trials, even though I was going to be on the team, but I still went to the trials to make sure let folks know. Really? Yeah. yeah. I just thought it was like a foregone conclusion. I'm like, this this dude be wearing the, the shoes. Like, he got to be gotta, on the team. He yeah, got to be on the team. got to be doing some. Yeah. yeah. That was part of my workout, though. Because like I said, I ran cross country, ran track, mm-hmm. played tennis, and I played basketball. So walk around the jump soles. That was my workout during the day. Okay. Man, we was in the same French class. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, she passed, man. Uh, huh? Th- yeah, I think she passed. Uh, oh, you man. had what, what, what it was the mean lady? Uh, what her name? Um, can't even think of her name. But I'm she trying was to remember. Up. Not not Miss An- not uh Madam Anderson. I don't think. All right, not Madam Anderson. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I I, I definitely had saying. her, but like yeah, yeah. yeah. But that no. was the other one though. The yeah. other one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. We had French together. That's but crazy. yeah, but. <laughs> Hey man, yeah, yeah. I I hold on to those memories because especially because man, because yeah, seeing y'all out there doing it, man, That's like priceless, bro. yeah, and you know it's just a it was just a, a it was a great times, great man. Time. great times without social media, like it was true no stuff. social media. We was doing stuff not for clout. We was just really doing stuff. Yeah, really doing it in a sense. You know also, I mean? like sports was just hype at the time. It yeah. was the Jersey era. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's wearing jer- like just because you got a jersey on don't mean that you just like into it like that because everybody's gotten a jersey at that time. Yeah. People wearing I- NBA headbands, the class. Headbands. You know what I'm saying? Wristbands. I, I, I like shoes for the longest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I I remember after after uh. High school, you ended up going to Jacksonville? Yeah, Jacksonville State. So, um, after we won our two state championships, I ended up uh, going to Jacksonville State. I had a lot of offers and stuff, but yeah. I kind of didn't want to stay in Georgia in a sense. I just felt like Atlanta just kind of like, you know what I mean? I want to kind of get away from it in a sense. Mm-hmm. Jacksonville State was dope, though. I did four years there, uh, made all decade teams. Wow. I led in steals and assists, just like I did at Mays. You know what I mean? So, Dang. I actually was leading the nation in assists one time. Really? Yep. So Stephen Kerr, his point guard, played, you know, at Davidson. And they actually recruited me, too. It was crazy. I had Davidson in Harvard, I think, from Ivory. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, Do you ever think it. about, like, what if you would have went to Davidson? Shout All Because, <laughs> like I said, I was already leading the nation in the season going back and forth with his. And yeah. Kerr was averaging 28 yeah. points a game. My, my, my 12 points on my team. But I had, like, 10, 12 Eight, oh, you know, a few people. I had a few people. So you scoring. didn't have any like I prolific scores. Yeah, you like, really was I like nobody get no two in a game in a sense. Yeah, I really was passing around to everybody. And yeah, then some of them might be missing open shots. Mm-hmm. Curry is not missing that. You see what I'm saying? Right. So his point guard averaging nine. I'm averaging eight. Mm-hmm. And it started going down when certain players get in trouble. Mm-hmm. They ain't playing. You see what I'm saying? So all that going to factor. So it was dope though to, to, to feel that vibe though. Play yeah. College ball, man. You know what I mean? It was dope. Weren't you a, a alternate for uh, the McDonald's? Yeah, I was an alternate for the McDonald's All American. So yeah, I was ranked. I didn't know I was ranked top twenty five. Really? In the state, my class of two thousand five with Lou Will and that whole crew. Mm-hmm. I was ranked twenty fourth. Dwight Howard. Dwight came out be- the year before. Okay, okay, okay. He came yeah, maybe out maybe the year oh. two years before. I think because LeBron. Yeah, LeBron was next. Yep. Yeah, yeah. One, of, either or. It was one of them or. Yeah. Got you. Be messing me up sometimes. Cause we we the same age in a sense. Who? Dwight. Okay. LeBron. Yeah. I'm 38. Really? Yep. Man. I'm 38. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we, we all in the same area. That's crazy. Same area of basketball. You know That's what I mean? crazy. So did you, like, who who are the people you played against when you played, like, in AAU and stuff? I played with Dwight Howard, Josh Smith, Randolph Morris, Javaris Crilton. I played for the Georgia Star with Lou Will, Mike Mercer, um... And then, like I said, Man. yeah, I've been around. Like I said, and we had other guys we knew. Like, I played against Derrick Rose. I played against Eric Gordon. I don't play against a lot of people. And then some of these pros, I didn't know I played against, but then you, you notice they pros. Yeah. They just didn't know who you were. And you don't know who you was then because, like I said, we all just hooping. Yeah. Like I said, I won. I lost, what, two nationals, nationals by one? I lost one year with Georgia Stars. Then next year I took my own team. We lost by one. 
So it's like going back to back with that. That would motivate me to win a championship too. So like, what is like, what is nationals like? So nationals is the AU, uh, it's the AU circuit. So back okay. in the day, it wasn't. Okay. Now it's like everybody have a team. Like I got my own organization, but okay. I don't push it like trying to be the best. I just want these kids to get better, get mm-hmm. a better chance on the next team. Cause like a lot of these kids, you just get the best player. What are you really teaching them? Sometimes you really ain't just put them. You just put them on a better platform. Yeah. But I want to find kids I need to better. You see what I'm saying? Like it's mm-hmm. it, it's harder. Well, it's easier to, to get somebody who I can dunk. But get yeah. somebody who need to jump, learn how to jump, run. I, I just love doing that for some reason. How do you teach somebody how to jump? It's form. It's arms. Uh, if you understand, if you left hand and right hand, you about to go left, right. You about to jump out one foot. You got to learn it. I feel that. like when I played, no one worked on jumping. I feel like it was all dribbling, three man weaves. But see, we didn't have trainers like that back in the day. Suicide. See, that's just basic. Just cardio, basic movement, yeah. motor skill. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. But you didn't have too many people like trying to critique your hand position, your form. They just say you can if you miss a shot, you can't shoot, don't shoot the ball. Right. You see what I'm saying? But now you kinda right. fix your own form, your right hand, left hand, you need to jump more, hold your follow through. Ain't no more if you miss it, it's over with. Don't shoot my ball. After Tim Duncan came out, they were like, All right, you just need to hit the corner of the backboard. Backboard. He was killing the backboard. It's like everybody yeah. didn't know about backboard until he came out. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I mean, I didn't, you know, they told me, like, hit the corner. I guess, you know, I was light-skinned, short hair. They was like, yeah, hit the corner. Yep, and then, like I said, I just posted a thing on my page about using the pole behind the backboard. You know what I mean? But back then, I wasn't shooting a lot in certain, like you said, maze. They didn't want me to shoot. So, you know, Cormier didn't want me to shoot. I be seeing in the captions. You be posting. Oh, and I, got they- to. <laughs> I got I got to let it be known. Lady folk, I ain't have the green light, but I still had to do my job. You mm-hmm, know what I mean? Because, like mm-hmm. I said, I'm a traditional point guard. I got my yeah. team involved. I don't understand some of these guards now. Like, I feel like you can always get your shot off. You're going to have the ball the whole game. Right, so right. Why, why force five shots in a row and your big man that ran down the floor? It takes discipline. It do. It takes discipline. Yep. Yeah. It takes discipline. But like I said, but uh, AAU, though, in, in high school, that would motivate me, though. Like I said, the AAU circuit, we played against Eric Gordon, lost by one to uh, the Dallas Mustangs. Wow. Then the next year, I took my Atlanta Celtics crew. So it was it was dope, man. Like I said, playing AAU growing up then was better because it wasn't a lot of teams. You had to earn your right to play on the team. Okay. See, now you could just, as long as you got some money, you could probably get on the team. Mm-hmm. Back then, it just mild. You had to, you got, you could pay to get on the team, but you had to make the tryouts for real. Like you had to really. They had tryouts. Yeah, we have tryouts now, but like I said, it'd be they already know kind of know who they want. Mm. But back in the day, it was everybody didn't have a team though. Okay. So like you can start a team up and name it after your stuff and just push it. But back in the day, everybody wasn't doing that. Okay. It was just like a few organizations, and you know who the real one was. But now, I kind of respect it now. But at least everybody get a chance to get their. Rocks off in the city. See, I assumed it was the opposite. Like, when I would see y'all with Atlanta Celtics yeah. stuff, I just thought, like, it was like playing at the park or something. Mm-mm. It was just in the summer. We, was, we played in Disney World. We traveled. That's why I, I traveled to Vegas. We done been so many places. Basketball really got me around the world. Wow. I've been I've been traveling. My first place was Paris to go overseas. Yeah. What would you do in Paris? We played in the K-54. It's a national street ball tournament. Okay. And I met Chris Paul out there and stuff. It's sponsored by Jordan. Okay. Yeah, so we lost, and we lost by one in that. So it was, yeah, you know I mean, it was dope. The fans loved me. It was cool. What's so? What's the difference between like a street ball tournament and then like a regular, a regular like pro tournament? Yeah. All right. So like street ball, it's like a different environment in a sense. You mm-hmm. have the music playing. You have somebody on the mic. And it's also mostly one on one in a sense. Like you can set picks and stuff. You can play basketball, but they're mostly one on one to show your true talent in a sense. Yeah. So, so like it's no ISO. Happy, it's ISO. Yeah. Ain't no zone defense. Like when I'm checking you, let's say he got the ball, I gotta still be close to you hand this. I can't be helping. Are they are they still like like strict with the rules? Like are you you know, if no, you pick I mean, up your pivot foot man, if you folk, you know sometimes referee gotta know who you dealing with. So the mm. at the end of the day the referee is part it's like wrestling. Okay. He got to know who be doing what moves. Because, like, think about hot sauce. Yeah. That's a care. Throw it up. But it's entertainment. If I call care on this, it would never transcend it like how it did. Mm-hmm. So, referees got to know it's entertainment. So, like, okay, is is the announcer at N1, is that unique to N1? Or yes. Is it- that's, who, uh, that's how I got my nickname, Mosquito. So, he the one, uh, Duke Tango. 
he the one name. It's a few other. Uh, there's two more people out there in New York that name people, but yeah, Duke Tango is like the guy who had the the, the big old clown afro. Yeah. On. Oh baby, oh, my son. Yep, that's him. Oh, so, my boy Duke, man. So, hot sizzle. <laughs> so yeah. he the name Professor Ayo, Skips Maloo. Okay. He the name all them people. All and right. He, that's how I earned my name. See, my, my my TV show didn't get aired. Oh, you you were on Street Ball. Yep, I did a Ball Up TV show. It was called Ball Up. I had the same teammates, Professor, Bone Collector, AO, Baby Shack, Dang. Spring. So we had the real lineup. You know what I mean? Was so it I, Escalade with y'all? No, nah, you know, he passed. Oh. Yeah. Yep. yep. And you know about that, dude. But we had this, uh, you know, that's his. Uh, well, I know he passed. I didn't know he, he passed around that time. Nah, he was before. See, he okay. was and one. See, and one's the you. whole, whole the first movement. Yeah. So them same guys after that kind of folded or whatever. And one tried to do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Ball up tried to take you know the the second route of. Okay. Of doing okay. It. So that's why they changed the name up to Ball Up, and they oh. had a TV show. It was called Search for the Next. I remember that. I remember mm-hmm. the show. So I, I had I was on one TV show. show. It was on Fox House. I was on that. Okay. And I lost to G Smith. The first year I tried out, and I just went right after I left from Paris. I was just going out there to get some runs in, and it was actually was a street ball trial. So, are you ever thinking about like the NBA? I did a lot of times, but like I said, I never had an agent, bro. I never had a manager, bro. I've been doing this all on my own. Yeah, it's like so many years of just keep going through it, and and and. I had depressed the ages, you know what I mean? Especially COVID didn't help, you know what I mean? So yeah. that little time off, I never did before, but it was just a lot of just, who going to help me out? So you you took time off during during COVID? Yeah. And, like, I guess that was, since you were three, that was, like, your first break from my basketball? First break, not touching the ball. I never took a, a week. I ain't never have a vacation to my honeymoon, bro. Wow. You see what I'm saying? So it's like. Ball is my like ball is life, like mm-hmm. for real, for real. Mm-hmm. So for me to be stressing about who gonna help me out, who gonna do this for me, because a lot of people think I'm already playing somewhere. So I took the street ball route because I want to keep going to D League tryouts. Yeah, I keep going to pay mine to go to Denver and try out for the national one. Then this team invite me over, I go try out for them. I make the top ten. I'm just doing good. I ain't losing, but they only they already got guards. We need looking for bigs. What the hell you got me here for? Yeah. Like, quit looking for big. Y'all need to have a personal private tryout then. Mm-hmm. Y'all just want us here to, what, feed them the ball and keep some money coming in for the D-League because they're not paying the D-League like that mm. with the G-League out. They get their own money. So they get their money off the tryouts and people coming in and spend that little mm. money. And they, you know, some people can get on, but they know what they're looking for already. Dang. They know they need a big man. They already know they got two-way guards already. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, how can I beat them up? But y'all gonna only want to keep calling me to y'all tryout. Send me to somebody else tryout then. If you yeah. know I can hoop, you ain't gonna help, you gonna keep sending yours, and you already got people. That's, that don't make no sense. Right. Yep. Um, you you played overseas too, right? Yeah, I went overseas a few times, and but I did mostly more street ball stuff and tours. Okay. Than actually playing in leagues, but like I said, but I've been to Germany. Uh, I was out there for like two weeks. I okay. Like, uh, I was signed. That was my first time I ever got signed to an agency. But they really didn't do anything. Just, I went out there for a little thing. I made the top five. Dude on my team got MVP. Still didn't get no call. So it was like, he got he got MVP because I was passing the ball. Like, right. I'm really getting them, you know, getting them looks and stuff. So yeah. They liked me. Then I tried out for the uh, BJ League. This is a, a lead in Japan. Okay. They liked me too. I thought I was going to be all right because I'm short. Like, mm-hmm. they already got short people. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what yeah. can I do different from them? Uh, a whole lot. You see what I'm saying? So it's like they want to do that, but we need some big. We we're gonna use our money on getting a, a you know a big guy, a big man because we can't use a, get American short guy. We already got short guys. We need a big. Dang. So it go like that sometimes. If you ain't the one, if you ain't trying to put up 50, 60 points, they going for a big. But I mean, I see like I can put up some be- points, man. But I just love passing, man. It just it's like a quarterback. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I feel like it's it's an art to the game. I feel like if you can shoot. Why I want to take five shots from you? Okay. You work. You. I bet you took more shots than me today. I bet you worked. I know you got a thousand shots up. I probably got five up. But I want to make sure you get your reps in because that's what you get paid to do. That's what you yeah. get for. You see what I'm saying? So I know I can shoot. It's time to shoot. You know what I mean? So you got to be able to mix it in. I know I can get three points a quarter. Still get a double double. You know what I mean? So they ain't. I feel you. Do you remember anything about my game? I know we we played a little bit at Maze and stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was shaky. <laughs> it was shaky. But you tried. I mean, I th- you went that bad though, bro. Like you say, just I don't think you <laughs> was in shape for it either, though. Like, cause people don't understand how basketball is a conditioned sport. Right. That's true. That's true. And that changed your whole dribbling and shooting style. You know what I mean? Mm, but mm. We, we're gonna do a session one day. We'll do a session one day. We'll do yeah. One. You you don't think it's too late? It ain't too late, but it's still good cardio. All right. Still good cardio. I mean, you still can do street ball. Street ball lit. You can always just go viral and. And just record now. You know what I mean? I mean, there, some people have pulled some cameras out while I've been playing, and I and I have been like, where yeah, is this I mean, footage going? I, see I what I'm really, saying? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody got you, got you out. That just ain't tagged you yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find it soon. Yeah, no. Nah, we, we do not need to find that footage Man, at all. I want to see it. That's too funny, bro. Lil when last time uh, you hooped, though, for real? I, I hoop uh like two or three times a week. Right. Now That's in LA, up. yeah, uh, LA Fitness. No, not LA Fitness. Yeah, they got y'all got some of the outdoor goals out there in LA, man. Yeah, I can't do that. Son, my eyes. No, nah, like I, you know, my knees now. I, yeah. I, I try not to do the outdoor just because I've heard so many horror stories yeah, and so many after a while, people have, you, you know. To it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, I, I got a gym that uh, me and, and, and a couple guys we we okay. go and That's put some up. shots. Put some up. shots up. Yeah. yeah. I got a few places out there though, but like I said, it was cool. I like LA though. Yeah, well, yeah. What's your favorite place? I guess to to hoop in. What you know? What's like the, your favorite? My favorite place that I hooped in. I would say uh, the K fifty four was dope. In Paris. Okay, it was my first time ever going overseas, and we went there. Tw- I went there twice, two thousand ten and two thousand twelve, and we lost to the lost by one both times. To okay, the French national team, but the crowd, like in the energy, the the kissing, they they do yeah. all that. Like they really love me. Like I couldn't really walk nowhere. Yeah, it was NBA players out there, and they were like, "Why are they running all over there to him?" You know what I mean? I'm mm-hmm. I'm shocked. You know what I mean? And I think the Jay Z song had came out too, and Kanye song. Oh yeah, yeah. But we were lit, lit. Yeah. To my hey, and and they love that joke. To my the whole crowd. Were they playing it in the was like they? in the arena? For every thirty minutes, they played that song, and the whole crowd with it. Yeah. Whole crowd with it, and we played by the Eiffel Tower, so that would make it dope too. Right by the Eiffel Tower was lit up. Let me see what else. Uh, I went to China. I was in China for thirty days. I played with Skip Malou. That was my first, my first before I got with Ball Up. Okay. They had invited me to just come with them because I tried out and I didn't win that year. So they were like, "We are gonna keep you acclimated with the team or whatever, just keep you going." Mm-hmm. So I got sent to supposed to be going to Taiwan, but ended up going to China with them. So that was better. Yeah, skip some blue like man. You got the best nickname. Like you are a pest. You a mosquito. Like you know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. that's you. Like I know people make mine over here, and they just got they throw them a name. Like you can make a killing over here, bro. Right. But Plus, think, it's like people can understand it. Yep. Even if you know they doesn't translate it's the culture. They see the symbol. They know exactly what that is. What that means. You then know. Australia. They call it mosey. Okay. Mosquito is it's not mosquito. It's mosey. Mm. So I learned that. So I was a mosey over there. I was over there for two weeks. I went over there twice. That was dope. I think Australia might be the best place because it was still, you can understand the language. Yeah. The food was good. You just got kangaroos. You know what I mean? They mm-hmm. were cool, though. They just looked different. They just. Yeah, they cock sure. diesel. Like a walking deer show. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. It was just different seeing different animals. Like you wouldn't see over here. Like you see a dog walking. You see, some, you know what I mean? Not no monkey in a tree. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Or, mm-hmm. So it was just different. It was just dope to see a different culture, though. When you when you go into a different country, and like especially one where you don't speak the language and everything, like like what's your first move? What's the first thing you do? Well, we always have you know we have our phone, but we have a translator always. Okay. Yeah, so they'll always help us out. Okay. But food is the main. Wi Fi and food is the main thing. You travel overseas. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure you got Wi Fi. And you can find some food you like to eat. Because like I said, sometimes you're not used to their culture of food. You need to go find you a steak, burger, or something simple just to get you going. Mm-hmm. Then try this stuff out. But it was cool. Yeah. Eating a different food, though. It was it was dope. But China, I ain't tried everything in China. They had fish looking at me. I was just like, bruh, can't do it. Can't um, do it. Lil D, what, who are your favorite uh, players growing up? Who would you like? Watching man, um, it's crazy. I'm glad you asked. It's a it's a mixture, man. Like I said, my dad grew up on the VH, 
you know, VH tape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. So, you know, of course. Know what time it is. So, Pistol Pete, all that type of stuff. Magic Johnson, Tim Hardaway. Okay. See, Pistol Pete was before Magic in a sense. Cause yeah. I, my dad showed me that they ain't had no three point line, so I'm seeing him do no looks and pass ahead of time. Like it Pistol just, Pete's origin story is like almost the opposite of yours. Yes. Like, his dad, his dad wouldn't was, let him dribble. Yep. He had prevented buck, him he, from dribble. He had to buck on a little bit. And made him want to dribble. And then they said he just left the ball out one day, and then he just started going ham. Just going ham. That's yeah. It. But that's how I started. And that's how it kind of started with me because I started with a Nerf ball. And then I could dribble on carpet, Nerf ball. I think it my got to get strength in my fingers or whatever. So that was cool. But Pistol Pete, you got Magic Johnson. Tim Hardaway is – like one, they one, two, not not junior, not not the one. Yeah, now, you know, the, the father. Two. They gotta yeah. go check the father out now. Yeah. So the one, two, and the double taps, the double tap between the legs. Mm-hmm. Like that's just that was just sick, quick combos. I always wanted to use. Uh, one of the one of the hardest things in in the first Black Panther is when they hooping outside and one of them goes hard away. Yeah. And you know they in Oakland. And they in Oakland. And you know that means they talking up. about Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. That's, that's good you know what it is, man. Mm-hmm. You know, hooping mm-hmm. hard, bro. That's what's up, bro. Hey, I I love ball. Mm-hmm. Like don't get me wrong. I like get it. like I like I love basketball. It just wasn't in the cards. It for just me. wasn't in the cards, man. It'd be like yeah. this sometimes, man. It'd be love for it. Like I said, you still could be a coach. And that's why I said I don't knock coaches and trainers because, like I said, you still can know the knowledge of the game, but you can't do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I know math would mean I can teach you math, but you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I get it. You can learn some stuff and still be able to teach it. You know what I mean? And you don't yeah. got to be good at it. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, we I always would. Let you, you know, show you if I had a slam, if I had a Sports mm-hmm. Illustrated, if yeah, I had man. whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm Everything. Slide it to you, yeah, for sure. What, I, other, what other player we could think about, man, that, was, that probably changed the E kid? I don't think they know about Travis Best, Damon Stardomite. Okay. Like I said, I'm left handed, so I look at yeah. like left hand guards and stuff. So even Derek Fisher, like those little type of guards, I looked at because they had attributes to keep them in the league. And mm-hmm. While they in the league, they played mm-hmm. defense. And I always play defense. That's why I'm a pest. But I've been playing defense before I even got to street ball. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that part of my culture of playing basketball, that was me. Pressing everything, being able to dribble one, two, being able to pass like everybody I watch. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I just wish I got a little tall out there straight. You know what I mean? Just hey, a little man. tall. But just a really little taller. I just really need an opportunity. I ain't really even care about getting taller. But that you, I mean, you you still got to, you know, experience everything, experience man. everything, and and I feel like anybody that knows anything about basketball, you you know, you able to to experience in, it in one way or another. Yep. Um, talk about like like some of the training stuff you've been doing. Okay, and, so like the training stuff, I've been training for a while, but like like um. I just my last big person was uh Dwight. I was in the LA and stuff, so that okay. was cool. So when he was in LA, uh we was working on a lot of ball handling and shooting when we was in the city and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I went on came out there with him just to keep his mind right. Like I said, cause even though even LeBron, like I said, they still have mental lap sometimes. That's why they keep themselves motivated yeah. by doing all this treatment, having trainers. Sometimes they they keep you they keep you going. You know what I mean? Cause you or you be ready to go home to your family sometimes. So. Uh, personal training has kind of been fun for me. You know what I mean? Because I can really build a person movement, put yeah. them through a daily routine, all that type of stuff. So training kids daily. That's me. I've been doing that for a long time, all ages, all levels. I got patience for it. So, you know what I mean? I get it. Yeah. Well, I guess what's the hardest thing about training kids in basketball? The hardest thing, the hardest thing for me to train kids is, like, their attitude – I can work with it. I can build through it. You know what I mean? But now it's just like having the right space and time now. Because mm-hmm. everybody want to come to me. So it's like, it's hard for me to just do a personal session when I got five other kids want to come too. But I know how to move around and work. You work on this, you work on that, and really watch everybody. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of gotcha. really multitasking with everybody. But that's probably one of the hardest things, kind of really multitasking each person. Because some kids want to go fast as the other kid or want to do the move. We not you're not on that yet. You need to be working on the crossover, not through the legs right now. Keep building that movement, footwork up, cause it's still the same footwork. Yeah, so I'm trying to build like a motor skill, and really an instinct where they want to think so much. Mm-hmm. Cause like each move you turn is either through the legs behind the back, it's still the same turn. Yeah. So some kids don't know how to adapt their hand movement 
yeah, so I don't want you to skip to this movement, and then now you doing it wrong, and now you you mad about something you can't do, but it's just not time yet. Yeah. No, like, I, I do remember growing up, and then be like, you got to get, get the fundamentals mm-hmm. first, you know? Because you get frustrated, you're trying to do something, like, even with shooting form, you have to get, you have to have land strength, you have to have how you want to jump, how your feet want to be, mm-hmm. hold your follow through, if you like your fingers this way, your bird finger, because you look at your hand, your bird finger's the longest, you know, finger, so yeah. when the ball come off, either you're going to have it on net, or you're going to have it on knees to it, so it's certain ways you got to... So somebody told me that the best shooter, their pinky doesn't touch the ball. Yeah, about, well, this pinky don't be touching the ball sometimes, because I, I, I'm i left-handed, so... Okay. And my hand's small, so I got to touch the ball. Which yeah. with your pinky? Yep. Sometimes my whole hand hit the ball. Okay. Like, like I said, yep. yeah. Sometimes people say open your palm up, but I get used to feeling it, so now I can still flick it. it mm-hmm. you know what I'm so it's all about my shot change every time. I know it. I know that. I don't shoot mm. the same form. I don't. My shot change in there because you playing defense on me. If you play defense on me, you gonna put your hand up. I shoot the same form. Yeah. You gonna block it. I gotta be able to shoot quicker or hold it. Somebody just fell out the street. <laughs> Good. Okay. Oh. All right, start back. So, um, y'all yeah, heard that? I'd block it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's documented. You know what I mean? You got to okay. switch it up for your boy. You got to switch it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like crazy. So, even with shooting, this is about understanding if I'm gonna shoot quick or I'm gonna hold my release. I just mm-hmm. gonna change it sometimes. You know what I mean? You, sometimes you can jump. Sometimes you don't have to jump. Yeah. So I just learned how to lean one leg, whatever. It's just different ways you can just play with the flow. Okay. What what was your favorite thing to listen to like like before a game? Before a game, I'm always, I'm I'm always with I like beats and stuff, so I'm a hip hop. I like rap, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to think um you know TI was uh what what was, was doing our time in high school. Yeah. But Lil John though, I ain't gonna lie, Lil John had you lit. Yeah. See, that was good you uh, warm up music. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You uh you said Lil John? Yep. What what Lil John song get you ready for basketball? Get crunk. He had by who he had a whole energy drink by the time, by who? Oh yeah, get get crunk. I can I can see that. I can see What? 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 For some reason he used to get me hyped, bro. Yeah, I can see this. And we had the big headphones back, and then we had them in pods. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, I had mm-hmm. a big headphone too. Dad looked out for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. I for, I forget about that. Like like the big headphones was a thing. All headphones were kind we of the, big. You had the little small ones, but we had but you get them big ones. Like the bigger they were, is like the thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. And they weren't that expensive for the big headphones back then. It was nah, just wasn't. like, yeah. Compared like, to now, they wasn't. Because they right. were like 300 for the look. What the hell is that? Yeah. I'm going to lose that mug. But, I mean, it's a microphone. It's, you know, it's mm-hmm. so much stuff now. Yeah. Um. Good old days, man. Good old days. What, um. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Other other stuff. I ran, uh, you know, I ran cross country too. You ran cross country. We was a, actually our first, this was the first time we ever won our region. Okay. In and, and cross country, I helped do that too. I didn't realize y'all y'all won the region in cross country. We went to state. We came in eighth out of ten. Okay. And my, like I said, I was I was the captain in cross country too. Okay. You know, I was the captain of the debate team. You know, I didn't. Was I part of the debate team with you? Nah. No, I was nah, on the math. Nah. I was the math and uh, the other club. I forgot the other club I was in. Okay. Yeah, but I, I'm glad you would debate because you, you try to get them. <laughs> <laughs> get them. I didn't make a debate about anything. Just make, just make it up. <laughs> Debatable. Oh, man. Yeah, but uh, cross country was lit, though. Like I said, we did that. My best time across country was, I think, 1851. And how long is that? It's it's a five k, so three point like one mile, and then like I say, it was hills and stuff. Like we used to run at Grant Park over here, mm. but doing you know it was on Wednesdays. You mm-hmm. know, but then our state tournament was like it was like a fast heat or whatever, so it was different. These hills were different. 
Yeah. Like the Naruto, I ain't watched Naruto, and I was already doing Naruto. Didn't even know it, man. Cause I, I was going down the hill, I just let my arms boom. I was just going. Didn't even know I was watching Naruto. Man, going Naruto before Naruto, it made sense. It really do. Yeah, it do. Cause like I said, you. <laughs> I was flying, bro. When folks were like, "What's wrong with him?" Like I was doing Naruto before Naruto. Didn't even know it. Man, what what kind of shoes are you wearing cross country? You ran track shoes. They had like you know cross trainer shoes, but I actually use like I said my my dad. Then like I said we had mine like they be buying different shoes. Like I said I got my hoop shoes or team shoe. That was it. But for that, like I said, I had my track shoes. I just took my spikes out. Okay. Just took my spikes out, clean the dirt out, a little holes if I need to. But well, I keep a few spikes in there because like I said it do help go mm-hmm. up hill. So I might keep some in the front and then put none in the back. Dang. So you run against other people that are going to Philippides and getting the cross country shoes. Yeah, and you these just, folks legit. Like they yeah. got the real, they got the real whole. They ready. They got the <laughs> shoe bag. They already got the cleat cleaners. They, I, I ain't know. My coach got the cleat cleaners. I don't know what's going on. I'm just coming in here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just running because I can run. Man. Yeah, but I ended up being good at it though. Like I said, I was the captain though. I was like the fifth person to come in, so I kind of pushed everybody. Okay. Yep. I do remember y'all practicing. I do remember well, y'all like heel, think about running around just me. leaving like the parking lot and then Bruh. just it just seems back like later. Yeah. We ran like we we warm up with a mile, we cool down with a mile. It, it doesn't even clean all the miles we did in between time. That's crazy. That was why I was in so much shape for basketball. That's why I ain't never had to come out of the game. Mm. Cause I ain't never come out of the game. I was That's never true. That's true. And yeah, you never I I never seen you gas. I never seen you like, you know, bend over mm-hmm. like like yeah. No sex red. Shout out to no sex red. Hell <laughs> <with me. laughs> Is that what you say when you training? No, nah, I be, I be, I, be, I make the kids laugh though. Like I said cuz it's still probably be fun for them, man. Like yeah. today a lot of parents be on their kids. I mean, I know y'all are paying for this, but mm-hmm. you want your kid not to want to you don't want to force your kid to come to work out. Right. Wake up in the morning all the time. You want your kid to be ready, preparing themselves for you to take them to where they need to go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why I've been kind of doing that. Yeah. Like I said, by me starting my organization, a lot of kids made their team for their first time ever. Man, that's dope, So that's man. been my main objective, like trying to get kids to make a team. Just man. to feel like something, you know what I mean? That's fire. Yeah, I never made a team. See? I definitely need so a coach. So just if I did that, and, and, and then you had that one team you can always talk about. I got cut from an intramural team oh in my God. Georgia. Yeah. It was <laughs> 17 of us went out They had 15 <laughs> spots They sent an email Two of y'all didn't make it Two of us didn't make it But one of them The other dude never hooped before Oh my god Yeah That's crazy He bro. was 6'5 Never hooped before Bro and just really just thought He was gonna He never, just thought he, he got his height late He just thought he was gonna You know Block some shot <laughs> Yeah in the mirror sports were lit though. I actually wanted to play in mirror sports when I was in uh, college, man, watching with folks. I said, man, But I you was on the team. That, that what I'm saying. That's how much I love hooping. That That's much I crazy. Love hooping. Cause see, after the season over at Jacksonville State, when I get done, like I, I rock with everybody. I was at all, you know, at wherever Greek you were, I was with mm-hmm. I was at all the parties, whatever. I was with the baseball team, softball games, volleyball. I was at all the sports events. I even hosted the football player. Ryan Perlew and, and Ray Ray. You remember Ray Ray? Yeah. Ray Ray, he was finna transfer from Clemson. Okay. So I hosted okay. him, you know, a little bit. And yeah. Go off, do whatever they're going to do. If you guys ever seen the movie Safety on, on Disney Plus, that's, Disney Plus, that's based on our classmate Ray Ray from uh from Maze. Yeah. Yeah. boy Ray Ray, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I cried watching that movie. Yeah, that I, was, it was dope, man. And, like, to see them squeeze it. Like, I know the whole story to it. Like, right. Best friend. But for them to squeeze it into it, like one right quick, mm-hmm. it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. I just wish they could have made it like a like a season of it. I think yeah, it dope. yeah. Made a whole season of it. They mm-hmm. might, might could do a spinoff on it. I guess I don't know, but I feel like that was dope though. Like, yeah, just get this story off and just. There's a lot of kids out here going through that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They they growing up without that that love. You know what I mean? And that both parents there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. So. It go deep, man. Yeah, and just I, you know, to me, what what made me emotional was remembering like what his attitude was like and yeah. like his demeanor was like at school and stuff. And you would have never even, known, you never known he been through all that before mm-hmm, then, and then mm-hmm, still going through mm-hmm. it. Then. And a dog on that football field. Yep. 
Yeah. Yep. And that was my, like I said, that was my teammate for basketball. Like yeah. He and, he, and he played basketball. Shoot, like I said, he stayed with me. Like, shoot, like even in college, he come back, he stayed with me sometimes. Like his, his little brother actually was staying with me. Wow. Hey, Mark. So doing, like I said, doing the movie, some of the stuff is true, but he actually stayed with me for a minute and then went somewhere else. You know what I mean? Type stuff. So it's so much in that movie. Like, it, it's just dope to have, you know, just get that out there, though, regardless. Mm -hmm. Ray Ray mm -hmm. was going through a lot. You know what I mean? You never know what other kids are going through. You know right. What I mean? Right. Cause like I said, I lost my brother in college. I mean, in high school. Dang. And that was my junior year. You didn't even know that, did you? Nah. Yep. See, so that was my motivation my senior year to win state again. Because my brother was at my championship game my junior year. Wow. And my brother got shot and killed by a friend of his, so called. You know how they go. You, you know, they, they're jealous and shit. It's crazy. But he got shot and killed, uh, two, what, 2004? Mm. That summer, June. So, man. When that happened, it kind of like, it just struck a little nerve in my body, like, just to, just, you know what I mean? It, it, it can have you want to be around people or not be around people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So sometimes I kind of be away from folks because, like, I don't want to feel that pain when you leave me type deal so it can have you mentally messed up but yeah ways. you can have you like stuck around people or can have you like i don't want to be around nobody because i want to feel that pain yeah so so it's so many ways like I said trauma can hit people different but for me i kind of use my brothers my teammates to be my brothers yeah so they're my brothers like from then on that's like everybody my brother in a sense so that's why i would say bro bro i really be meaning it because you never know who can be that person but I want you to always look at me in my eye and not do me wrong, in a sense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I ain't nobody really did me wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just want to keep that way. Every time you see me, you ain't like, nah, that little D, bro. I can't do nothing. I want you to have that vibe. Every time you see me, like, that little D, bro. Yeah. He, he cool, bro. Leave him alone. Stall him out. That's how I want that vibe every time. I don't want nobody feeling like he ain't never looked out for me. Because I give people my last. People don't even know what I'm going through. Like, I ain't rich. But I, if somebody hit me up, I'm like, bro, if I got it, I got it. If I don't, I'm gonna see your direction. You maybe you can get it. You know what I mean? No, I can't get you this time. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna ghost you. Some folk ghost folk, mm -hmm. but I understand it because people just be acting. That's real. That's it real. Is. It is. That's why I say I understand why some people be rich and, and really be mentally don't know who their friends is. Cause like I said, people just be acting so much, bro. Like, mm -hmm. ain't nobody doing just acting, bro. Like you ain't trying to do. You just acting, bro. Yeah, it's tough. But it's tough out here though. I get it. Yeah, but losing my brother though in high school was kind of like a changing point for me though. And you think about other folks. I had a dude in, in middle school who got, uh, his family got killed. Uh, you remember Santonio Lucas? Now, you didn't go to us. You were the, uh, you were the uh, young, didn't you? No, I went to Brown. Oh, so you went to Brown. See, so yeah. Yeah, you didn't go to Ushwins. I thought you went to Ushwins. Yeah. No, nah, Brown wasn't even, you know, we was we was the first class, the first middle school class of Brown. Gotcha. It was, it was a That's high crazy. school. Then yeah, it was a high school. They, they switched to it to a middle school. Yeah. 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 But I was just speaking on losses in the set. But like, mm -hmm. when I lost my brother. And I put my state championship medal in his grave. I already told myself I was gonna win state my senior year. Dang. Yep. So I ain't really. I mean, like I said, I was that focused on winning back to back, regardless. And like I said, that's why I kind of chose JSU because, like, I'm not to keep playing around. I done played in front of all these top colleges, and I'm busting folks y'all looking at. Like I played for the Celtics. Like I went to the nationals twice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And to my championship game twice. I've been to nationals every year. State. Every state tournament, I'm you know, Matt knows all American, I'm I'm Adidas all American in every tournament I go to. So I, I know I can do what I can do. You know what I mean? It's all about somebody giving me the opportunity. And I was just making a stat statement for little folks that you could win by passing and you don't gotta be just strong to make you know what I mean, to, to, to make a living in a sense. Yeah. Wow. Yep, so I had I had no clue that, you know, you was going through that and yeah. I, I can't even imagine like, you know, you know, like coming back, you to know, school. like like all the attention and right. everything that comes with winning state yep. again, and you know, yeah. Yeah. So every game I had, to, like you said, that was my motivation. My brother was like, mm -hmm. he just showed me like he always had my back. Like you know what I mean, like it's just crazy, bro. Like to not really be tripping so much about it because I just know how he was. You know what I mean? So yeah, it just you never know what people going through, and that's why I kind of look at you never know what that person going through. That's why he probably asked you for something or. He need to hit you up. You know what I mean? You never know. Mm -hmm. You probably couldn't ask the other person because they be tripping. Right. They might spaz out. You never know. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Or I might need to get this out the way where nothing will happen to me. So it's just so much. Like, it's a Dr. Strange effect with me. Okay. Sometimes I can overthink things. You know what I mean? Sometimes I can yeah. just go with the instinct. Because that's how life is. It's really like Dr. Strange. You think no, I feel, I feel you. you feel I, I live in my head. I'm always mm -hmm. in, in so different alternate scenarios. Sometimes I got to stop thinking scenarios. so much, man. That's all. Yeah. So much. You got to just 
be positive. You know what I mean? Don't overthink going to the gas station. I got jewelry on, or but sometimes you gotta think like that. Like what? I'm out of it. What? What side of town I'm on? I only know the area like that, so I ain't even look green over here. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I got robbed in L.A. Really? Yeah, waiting for my Uber, bro. Leaving the club. Dang. But like I said, I look like I'm not from there. I'm what sorry. What part of the town were you in? What it was? Was it Headline? What, what was the name of the, uh, the What's the the rooftop uh, club uh, in West Hollywood? It's dope too. Um, I can't even remember the name of it. Highlight Room or something like that. Okay. But I was waiting on my Uber, and I just see one dude walking this way. All right, so I said I'm not even gonna play with him. I go try to get a bike, the little Uber bike. Yeah. I'm finna got them just skit. I ain't waiting for my Uber. Yeah. Number. I'm finna just got them. I ain't finna run because I already had like one or two drinks. I ain't mm-hmm. got time to be running. I'm finna just skit the hell on. Another dude come, two on come. And that's how I got stopped. So they ain't getting nothing but my watch. It broke off. They ain't get my phone wallet or nothing. But it just made me get my guard up now. Like, these folks different out here. What you mean? Like, so how'd you get away? So this is how I got away. So when I when I skied it off on the scooter, right? Oh, you dude, see, you got on the scooter. I got on the scooter, bro. <laughs> the other dude came out of nowhere and grabbed my hand, bro, like out of nowhere. Bro, that's crazy. Crazy, bro. I'm looking at one dude and I ain't seeing the other dude over here. But like I said, they they wave at these spots. Damn. And bro had a gun though, so it was like I ain't finna tussle with you. He was like, I'm like, bro, I ain't got nothing. I'm just like y'all, bro. I'm out here trying to make it, bro. It's like, nah, nigga, you got a watch on, and I'm looking for my watch because I already fell off the goddamn scooter. Cause I jumped up from the tag out running. I said, "No, nah, I'm stop." Cause I, the I'm gonna get the hell on. But I'm, but I heard last week Terrence Howard, not Terrence Howard, but Terrence J got shot at. Dang. It was the same time running. So I'm like, they gonna get it. Cause like I said, I lost my brother. My mom already told me, man, give all that shit up. It don't even matter. I need you here. So my, I was booking, but then I stopped. Mm. You know what I mean? So my watch was on the floor. They picked that shit up and ran. I said, "Why well, had some on me, shot? I just want to, why." But like I said, it just make you think so evil now. Like I said, it's just like you can't think like that on people sometimes. Bro. Man. Now, I, I see why people be locking these out them doors. You never know what them pro- people going to do, bro. Like, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, but now nah, that, that was my learning experience, though. But it, it taught me a lesson, though, like everybody in the city, like when you go travel somewhere else, they know you visitors. Mm-hmm. You got to dress accordingly. You got to look like them. Yeah. And that's the same around time when uh, my other dude got killed at the chicken shop, the Roscoe chicken thing. Oh, uh, PNB. Yep. So it's like now I'm thinking like, damn, this shit like, like Grand Theft Auto. It's like the real video game. See, like I said, I couldn't do nothing. Do had the pistol and shit. So it's like I ain't can't I can't do nothing with that. Yeah. You got to watch. You know what I mean? You get to watch. I went about two more, y'all. Just don't wear them all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Dang. But now that was a learning experience, though. But like I said, it just made me think about life. Like, and that's why I kind of went on and and got back home from LA. Mm-hmm. And went on proposed to my girl. But like I said, just time too short. Like I said, she been with me for like ten years already. Like I said, she would have been married if I my contract went went through with Ball Up because that ended. I had to sign a five year deal with Ball Up. Okay. When I won the TV show, so that ended. So I was gonna do some proposal thing then and get a house. But like it's like, what job I had? Now mm. I gotta go back and hustle again. So I just been hustling, doing TV shows and movies and trick shots, making it work, man. You know what I mean? So but she stayed down, so it just made me. Life is more important. Let me go get my baby right. That's yep. real. Yep. So that's why I did that, man. Like that's I said, it's, real. A, it's just a turn of spin. Like I said, some things happen to you for a reason. Yeah. And that was it for me, cause like I said, it could have been worse. Yeah, that could have been. Yeah, it could have been could've way been worse. worse. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, but like I'm said, glad you here. But I understand how the hood work though. Yeah. They ain't really trying to like kill you. They want. They just right. want your valuable thing. You right. give it away, they're not gonna even hit you, bro. Like you just give it up. It take you it take away your pride a little bit, you know what I mean? But you gotta have enough like I got discipline, I got pride. Mm-hmm. It's okay, you got me right now, you know what I mean? Next time that I see you though, it's gonna be different, you know what I mean? I'm just yeah. glad I ain't I'm, if I was out there another week, I probably remember some faces, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie to you, but they probably don't even be around the area like that. Yeah. They smart. Like you said, they smart little thieves out here, you know what I mean? But learn the game. Dang. They happen to the best of us, you know what I mean? Um Lil D, what's your what's your favorite color, sky? Favorite color, who? Sky. Sky. Yeah. I like a nice clear sky. You know what I mean? Blue clear sky. You know what I okay. mean? Okay. Feel like beach vibes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I feel like I went to Cancun. It give me Cancun vibes. A little light blue. A yeah. Little beige look. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
Perfect. But it, you know the little red and orange kind of look good too in the set. You know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. LA has some good sets over there. Yeah. And that's my first time. Like I said, we from the hood. We ain't used to just go to the beach. You know what I mean? We at the beach. Right. And looking at water like. <laughs> but they can do this every day. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, so that's dope. And the water clear, like when you go to the Atlantic, it, it's a little dirty, a little you know. Yeah. Um, like I said, you learn about water. You learn about different stuff. Like you mm-hmm, said, you from mm-hmm. the hood, you don't know about water. Like you think all of it just the same, but you don't know if that's salt. You know what I mean? Right. Salt water. What you talking about? That dirty water. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what that dirty. That just tastes nasty. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite hooping movie? My favorite hooping movie? Yeah, all time. Or sports movie all time. Damn, I'm trying to think, man. I get like I can get emotional off a lot of movies. Even Speed Racer can get me emotional, bro. Yeah. You ever seen Speed Racer? The Speed movie? Racer? The movie. Like the the Wachowski's Speed Racer, with the car, with the, with the like uh, the one that came out like twenty ten in there. Yeah, I have not. I have so you not see that one day. Like I say, sports movie in general just get me going. Regardless, like it I be, wouldn't. I, I never would have thought of Speed Racer as a sports movie, but I guess it is. Racing. It's, it's racing. Yeah, it's like running. I used to watch Speed Racer on, on Cartoon Network. Like, uh, mm-hmm. like the like the old cartoon, yeah, the old you know? cartoon. That that what kind of got me on it. Like, yeah, because you know, it teach you about you know different cars and gadgets. Like you said, it's like a superhero to us. You know what I mean? When I was a kid, I thought the Racer X was black because he he's yep. called the Racer X. X, you know what I mean? But then the car was black, so you just couldn't. Yeah, might as well keep going. But I, I was like, I, I got rock with him. <laughs> nah, they switched that on up. But now like, basketball movie, like I said, um. Coach Carter was pretty good. Like I said, it was a true story. Mm-hmm. You got um, the ball in the rim. You got hoop dreams. You got, you know what I mean? Yeah, but what was your go-to? My go-to. I'm trying to think if I had a go-to. It's just hard for me to get a go-to, bro, like, because I, I, don't, I don't know. Because, like, once I start thinking about the movie, I can kind of see the whole movie. Yeah. So it's like, damn, I made myself wait. I'm trying to think about a good go-to. Above the rim part would be a good go-to. I can okay. watch that Because that feel like my life My story in a sense Because mm. he, he growing up In the neighborhood Trying to get out You know what I mean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stuff happening Yeah And like you said I know other folks Whose situation was worse than mine You know what I mean So I know they was really in the hood Probably drug dealing And, and still hooping You know what I mean I don't know Yeah In South Atlanta was different They area was different over there So some people had to live A different lifestyle Some people stayed And they partners were different Yeah So I don't know It's um I like Coach Carter. Coach Carter can get me going because I feel like Coach Matt reminds me of Coach Carter. <laughs> For real. Like, cause like, okay. Because, like, he, he re ran, bro. Our offense yeah. was motion. Mm-hmm. We had two offenses to win state. I didn't have a pick and roll or nothing, bro, to win state. You that see is what I'm hilarious. I didn't ever get a pick and roll to oop ever yeah. in high school. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so to win state without getting a pick and roll was pretty dope. Yeah. But Coach Carl, like I said, he taught you really about basketball motion. and teach you how to sacrifice for the team. And then, like, but dude, he was first, he was our shooting three, like, Kurt, one boy jacking them up. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? He didn't want to run. I had teammates that didn't want to run, but I pushed my teammates. I ran with my teammates. I did. I ain't never missed a line drill. I probably missed a line drill now after about one or two, but that's because I ain't worried about it. But, yeah. But back in the day, I ain't never missed a line drill. You put 30 seconds on the suicide, I'm going for 25. I'm not mm. going for 30. You see what I'm saying? These yeah. kids here, they aiming for 29, 30. They, they right down the line. I'm trying to beat it. You know what I mean? We do 17s. We got a minute and 10, a minute and five. I'm trying to do a minute. Okay. So it's like I push myself. And I don't think kids now, they just push themselves to get finished. They don't push themselves to get better. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of stuff go with these movies I watch. You know what I mean? So I feel like Coach Carter was pushing these kids to be better. Just like Coach Matt was trying to do. Nah, that's that's real. Mm-hmm. That's come, at, real. come at it like long hair. Yeah, yeah. And he tried it like he. And that was like, like Braid's era. That right. was like the Braid's and time. The, and then I think and then and then Wayne the started tips. wearing dreads yep. and like yeah, nah, that come was like come, come at it, bye. You got long hair, you ain't gonna play. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Yeah, some, I think somebody uh cut their hair before trial. I said, but you tripping? I don't think you should have did that one. <laughs> But you cut your hair before trial. Well, you might want well to just try it out and then see if you're going to make the team for it, bro. Then, but they want to take no chances. But 
Cause Colette probably told you to go home in the trap. But. I'm glad y'all went state though. He, he gives me so many excuses. People are like, yeah. why you ain't playing high school? I was like, man, they already had a team that went <laughs> state twice. You know what I'm saying? They well, what I'm really gonna do? You know? They ain't gonna be doing that. Called the bench, bro. Yeah. But like I said, I, I rocked my whole team. Like I said, people don't understand the bench players. They like we all pushed each other, bro. Like they don't understand like how deep we really was. You know? Yeah. But we just had Coach Matt. Mm-hmm. Like. I, I might hit a three, and he'll call a timeout, bro. And I'll be like, celebrate. Like, we finna sell a press up. No, he pressing me. He right here on the court, like, get him. He subbing me out. I'm like, and he'll sub me out. Somebody will go in, turn the ball over, and I would get in trouble. He'll look at me like, that's your turnover. I'm like, what? I'm on the bench. How, how does my turnover? Because you should because you should never gotten, you know, in trouble to sit over here. You should never shot my ball. You should be, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was my team right there. He would kind of put me. Molded me on, don't, did what you doing. You punk guards. You ain't shooting guards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was cool. Like I said, I'm dissing, bro. I know how to play roles, bro. You know what I mean? I don't think everybody know how to adapt. Because, like, like, I know a few homeboys left maybe, but they weren't messing with Matt, bro. Yeah. They, they couldn't do it. Yeah. How many years you tried out, though? You tried out every year or you just? I only tried out sophomore year. Yeah. See, you yeah. should have tried again, bro. See, you quit on yourself. That's all, bro. I mean, I yeah, I was like, like y'all got two state bros, shit, junior, senior, yeah, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. You've been like Brandon, you know, we had a few guys on the team, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? AJ, them, that you know, that was you know, they was on the bench, but they can still hoop a little bit, but just yeah. need some time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shout out Brandon, my boy, my boy Earl, them, yeah, Earl, Orlando, the Earl was different though. Mm-hmm. Earl was a seven day as Venice, so he'll okay. miss games. He'll come in at halftime because you know Saturday. After you know night day or whatever, I don't mm-hmm. know how that stuff work, but he'll come in that thing hand time and go for twenty. I said that boy he'll fight. <laughs> it's different, show. <laughs> Lil D, anything you want to tell the people? Anything you want to promote? Uh, um, let the people know about. Uh, I've been doing training, man, um, and coaching right now. Uh, I usually did the YMCA on Kempton Road, but we've been remodeling. I think the uh, YMCA and you see the YMCA and the Hawks are doing something together. Oh yeah, no, we gotta talk about the Hawks, oh, man. Yeah, one on one stuff. Yeah, we gotta so talk about stuff. you doing one on one. Man, come on, dog. Wait, we wait, down wait, 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 we you might put have people in the blender, on, yeah. So, um, so how that deal works? So, Hot Sauce did it the year before, I think. Okay. So, you know, his was just you on offense the whole time. You got to stop him. If you stop him within thirty seconds, you can get a set of ties or whatever the gift's gonna be. So for me, I thought of something better because, like I said, most people don't get the chance to even go to a game. Mm-hmm. Why you want to spend your time on the court getting crossed up? Yeah. You want to get a chance to what? Take a shot. How many people get a chance to shoot on the pro flow? In front of a thousand people, you know what I mean. So yeah. I told him I play defense. I don't mind letting the guys or a girl play offense first. At least they get a chance to shoot something they never done before. Even yeah. if they make it, that'll be just dope in a sense. Even though they make a shot or they can hoop, the crowd gonna be into it. Yeah. So I did that to play defense first. So I did like seventeen games with him. Man, it was dope, every man. time you posted one, it would be hilarious. Appreciate it. Know? It was dope, man. I had fun, yeah. like I said, and, and all the people I did it with, like I said, they, they, they didn't feel like they was nervous. I kind of made them feel good. Mm-hmm. I think with my boy House, I don't know if they was, like, scared of him or I don't know. Like I said, he just had that I'm hot sauce feel. You know what I mean? That's just hot, my boy, yeah, but that's yeah. just him. You know, me, I'm different. I'm going to talk to you. I'm trying to cheer you up. Who, man, shoot, make a shot. Do a move. I mean, you're trying to. I'm better than you. I'm not trying to do that. I want you to yeah. have fun. This is entertainment. And that's how I was. So I ended up, I started the first quarter, second quarter sometimes, two minutes. Then after it got like fifth game, it got it got good. I started getting fourth quarter. So when you get fourth quarter, you in there. Yeah. So I was in there with the, with the people doing the dunks. I was right behind them. Okay. So I'm up through the there. The trampoline people. Man, yeah. So I know I was doing good. But like I said, the crowd just loved everything. And then the people loved me. So, and I might end up be doing something with Skyhawks soon. So I don't know. Okay. We try okay. To, I went to the Hawks game and you saw guard work. Went down and talked to him and might be popping it back off. But like I said, it's just timing for everything. You know? Man. I think COVID shut that down in a sense. What, wait. Cause, yeah, because cause it was doing the COVID. Oh, time. COVID. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I ain't yeah, never yeah. caught COVID, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause when COVID hit, it's like, why they, they can't. Have fans doing so much, got you, got you, without getting shots and all that. Type yeah, of stuff. So, yeah. 
kind of like a lot of stuff kind of slowed down. For and me, breathing on the court. Man, what that. had yeah, rough yeah, stuff, yeah. man. You know yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah. shoot, I forgot I was in the Uncle Drew movie too. That was cool. Yeah, come on, man. Not my bad, man. That thing. So, so crazy thing about it, and I didn't realize Kyrie was following me on Instagram. Like I didn't know, and and okay, and it was ABLE. I'm, I'm game. telling y'all, anybody that knows anything about hooping knows my man Lil D. That was I got some. I mean, that's why I said I'm not really tripping on a million followers because I know I got people. Even if they not following, they know me. Like yeah. I didn't know Chris Brown knew me, but he know me. You know what I mean? I didn't mm-hmm. know that I was in LA, but that's another topic. So, so um, back to what we were talking about. Um, where we was at? Um, what was on, bro? I just finna go to another topic. Kyrie was following yeah, Kyrie you, was Uncle following Drew. Me. Yeah, Uncle Drew movie, right? So, you know, I post a lot of videos, pick up stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, I was, I think it was a summer league game, ABL league game, and he was coming to play or whatever, showing up, and I think we was out the playoffs. But I walked up to him like on the mosquito or whatever. He said, "Man, I know who you is. Like, what's up, man? Like, I'm like, what? Took a picture right yeah. quick, one tripping, like all love, good energy, like good spear, good energy and everything. Like, I mean, I, I, I get it. So like, now I go back to the gram, just checking his pictures and likes and shit. I'm looking like, I ain't no bro been following me, just been liking shit too. So it was like crazy, you know what I mean? So the game mm-hmm. on Uncle Drew movie it was dope, like to have that vibe, just play basketball, be around, entertain." Shaq a fool. I've been knowing Shaq for a while too, a little bit. But Shaq funny. He yeah. picked me up like summer, bro. So, so you know how celebrities, you know, they, they, when you cut and they had their chair, they bring a little chair out there. He got a stool. So I sit in his stool, bro. He picked me up like this, <laughs> <laughs> and he started singing like one of them like Lion King songs to everybody, bro. And everybody over there had their hands up. I said, but y'all better put me down, <laughs> bro. I was so high up, bro. That was about ten feet. He sang the circle of life and picked but you he up. He did, bro. <laughs> I felt like some. I felt like I knew I was born again. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was dope. Yeah, you know I mean, having that experience, man. I mean, Reggie Miller was on set. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it was just, I've been around. Like I said, I've been around the culture for a minute, man. You know, man. You know, Steve Smith, all these guys like that. Come on, Dennis Scott, like all these shooters. You know, what I mean, they were Dominique Wilkins. Like I said, I did a whole podcast with with Dominique already. You know, what I mean, and for that, real? Yeah. I think Come you got, on, man. Yeah, the Dominant was his show called the Dominant One. Okay. So I did. I'm the ones with him, so that was dope. We did this show in his house. Like I said, he been a, he been watching me play doing summer leagues and you know doing the trick shots and all that type of stuff. So yeah, it was just dope having the same talk like this with him in his house. You know what I mean? I, I was an intern for the Hawks in like uh, what was that summer of '06, okay. and and Dominique, you know, uh, I worked for the Hawks at the mm-hmm. time, and he was he was amazing, but also. When he was ready to bounce, he, he would just disappear. Oh, he gone. He, he just gone. I like. I don't know how someone six yeah. seven Jason could just like he Jason, like Jason. And he, I've told other people this, and they've been like, "Yeah, no, nah, that's real." Nah, that dumb neat. That neat. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, cause I uh I call him at the game, and I and I had to catch him quick, cause they said, "Yeah, you usually be gone by now." I know, cause if you do that one spin, somebody gonna grab his bag. He out of here. One time I saw him downtown. He was like, you know, like. I'm, I'm just walking. I'm like, oh, there go Dominique right there. Gone. Gone. It might be the stick of hoop. He ain't telling us something we don't know. Right. <laughs> but, neat. No, it was like I said, it was cool. And being with people like that, that love passers. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? He loves somebody like, he played with Spud Webb. Yeah. So I hold a conversation about how he love a guard that can pass. Mm-hmm. Shooters love a guard that can pass. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's why I kind of love passing. You know what I mean? Everything I've been doing. And, and passing is ain't but a trick shot. And I lost uh, mm. a trick shot, 250K. I made top three in the 250K show on Facebook Live. Okay. And it was dope. Like I said, it was all brand new to me. I ain't never just been doing trick shots. I do trick shots for fun. Yeah. He felt really studying how to bounce it off the camera, over to the laptop, onto the mic, and hit you in the nose. I mean, they really studying how to how to spin the ball. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. I'm going off instinct of what I know because I know passing. So Man. I made it that far off just my instinct of passing. Wow. Yep, so. A lot of stuff, man. I be forgetting about all the stuff I done did, man. That's why I, I can't be depressed about myself. Yeah. I did a lot, man. I mean. you, Yeah, you've done a lot. I'm still yeah. doing stuff. So Cemented like, and, and, and still doing it and still leaving your mark on the game. Always been super positive. <laughs> I'm super proud of you, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like I just got to stay positive. Mm-hmm. I ain't had no mm-hmm. injuries or nothing. So just been praying. That's up. the other thing. Yep. I'm like I I have aches and pains. And I don't be doing nothing. I've been I, I looking been at your now, page, and you be you be still 
hooping active at a high level. I got to start stretching, man. I, that was my problem. Now I don't be stretching before I start going out there. So I feel it. So I got to start warming College up. basketball played all over the world. Now you got to start stretching. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I, I used to ice. I was just telling my wife that I used to ice bath. I used to do all the type of stuff. Weights three times. Not Australia, not Japan, no, not I Paris. No now you got to start stretching. Yep, that's crazy. <laughs> like I said, I just started doing natural now. Like I said, I just understand the game so well that it's like once you know, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get to that point. You, you watch them Asian guys, how they just be so wise, and they get to 80, mm -hmm, and they mm -hmm. can just flip you over with their pinky because they just know the game. They, they, they understand how the movement of everything. Yeah. Hey, man, Lil D, thanks so much for coming on the pod, yeah, man. Appreciate you, man. Have some fun, man. Just spend some stuff with you, man. Yeah. We we gotta chop it up more. No, we yeah, got to, man. yeah. We we, we really ain't talking in a long time. We but, you know, it, man. we correspond online. You know, yeah, I, you know I, I, social media do, man. I you know on Instagram all the time. I'll be like, yo, I taught him that move. You know, I, <laughs> you I taught him everything move, he knows. You know, like you he got that, that from me. Face. Hey, you that face, I, hey, I would have locked him up right there. You know, <laughs> but uh, now we're gonna get some videos in, bro. We yeah, gotta do something. I'm yeah. gonna come to LA or something. We are gonna figure something out. Nah, let, let's do something for real. But I'm so glad you came on the pod man thank you bro for yeah real. never love what what appreciate yeah you, bro. appreciate you man it was dope oh, man how that was straight yeah. bro yeah there's so much to talk about bro yeah. this shit crazy yeah. like, ain't it been a minute bro yeah